Here we're asked to simplify this expression. And basically to do that, I'm just going to rewrite it as a single logarithm. So notice here I have a coefficient. Let's use the property that says I can write that as an exponent. Log of x squared. Notice they're all log. And when the base is not given, it's assumed to be base 10. Uh, minus log of 7 to the third power minus, let's take care of this exponent, log of x to the one-half power. Okay, and then distribute that negative here would be next, the so log of x squared minus log of 7 to the third power, which is a rather large number, plus log of the square root of x. x to the one-half, I'm just going to rewrite that right now as the square root of x. So basically what I did there was distribute the negative. Distribute the coefficient of negative 1. Okay, now let's apply the property of the log that says when you subtract you can divide those arguments. So we have log of x squared divided by 7 to the third plus um, log of the square root of x. And then finally, addition, we can multiply those arguments. So that would be equal to log of x squared divided by 7 to the third times the square root of x. Okay, so let's um, clean this up a little bit. That would be equivalent to log of x squared times the square root of x all over 7 to the third, which is 343. So that's what you might see in the back of the book, and that's completely simplified.